What is up, Barbara people? Welcome back to the channel. Today, guys, I'm heading out to the Spillway in Lake Palestine to do a little striper fishing. I haven't been out to the uh, Spillway in quite a while, so I don't know what it's going to look like when we get there, but hopefully the fishing will be good, and hopefully we can land us some nice fish today. Or is that a, oh, it's a, stri a striper. Holy crap. Bro. Where was over there on the other side? Yeah. <laughs> bitch, bro, give me some. Hold on, let's get a weight on him. Hold on. And then I'll get the big camera out. Hey, as soon as it touched the water. Got a cooler. You want people? Just throw a little bit of water, water in the cooler. Throw them in there, yeah. Hold on, get the scale. <laughs> I'm talking about as soon as it touched the water. Spinner, okay, I'm gonna go over there with you then. Hell yeah, I might tear these guys up today. Oh, I need to turn on the power button. Feel good? <laughs> yeah. Come on, turn on. Okay, there we go. He hit like a fucking freight train. All right, let him go. 310. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's a nice one. Right, there's Quentin with his nice striped bass. It's a nice one. Oh yeah, that is a good one. That what were you using? What is this? Uh, that little spinner bait. Yeah, little spinner bait. Nice. All right, let's put her in the cooler. What about that guy in the tractor? Oh. I barely fit. <laughs> Where were you at? Up here. I tried right here. And I felt like I kept it about to get hung up, so I was fucked it. Go ahead and get my drag ready. There we go. Right around here? They might be staying close to where all this water's coming in. Is that a fish jump?
Got one. Bass. He just tore that thing up. Come here, buddy. Stop. Woo. Right at the side of the mouth. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I know. There you go. Yeah. Got one. Oh yeah. Big one, big one, big one. Did he come off? No. He came off. That was a good one too. That was a, that was a striper. He hit it hard. I thought I said it good, but I don't know how he came off. Yeah, he was pulling drag like it was nothing. In the Jeep. Oh yeah, that's the cast right there. They'll hit it once, they'll hit it again. He hit it like right there at, at the gate line. You want me to throw it the other side of the gate and you throw on this side? Double team it? All right. Dang, I can't believe he came off. Yeah, that was a nice one. That was, whew. He's pulling drag. I have not my, my drag set pretty tight without breaking it, but this is also a 15 pound line. Want some salad with your fit? Got him, got him. Oh, I got him this time. That's a nice one. Come here, buddy. Oh, yeah, you see him, Quentin? I got him hooked good. Look at that monster. Look at that monster. Come here, baby. Can you get him for me? He's hooked. Come here, buddy. Got him? Does he hook good? Oh yeah, right in the top of the lip. Oh yeah, straight through. Just like I like them. Hell to the yeah. Got another one on the white chatter bait. Ooh, ooh. Dang, he, he still got some fight in him. That almost ended badly. That was almost a hook in the hand. <laughs> But yeah, right on the top of the mouth, just like you like it. There he is, that is a nice one. Alright, watch my, ooh. I think he might have got me. Oh no, yours is bigger, bro. Is it? Yeah, look how wide it is. Ooh. I wish I knew what I did to this poor reel. Well, we got two out of the spot. Yeah, I got two out of the spot. I have to go home and clean this reel now. This is the one I just got too. For real? <laughs> yeah. I had to go home, take it apart, and oil it. Yeah. So weird. Huh. Down now. Down now. Alright guys, so um, as y'all saw in the video, after I caught that striped bass, uh, the classic pro lures that I got from Tyson Fishing started making a horrible squeaking sound. And I think it was something either in the reel or I think dirt might have somehow got in there. I'm not sure how, but I think it did. It started making that horrible, horrible sound. So when I got home, I uh, took it apart oiled it again and dropped it in uh, some uh, hot water and you can still kind of hear it listen okay now it's not gonna make it after I put it on camera here listen see you can kind of still hear it it's still kind of there 
So uh, I'm probably gonna soak, take it apart, soak it in hot water again, and uh, oil it, and hopefully that will fix it. But uh, if y'all ever had this problem and you fixed it, please let me know in the comments how to fix this squeaky reel because I really do like this reel. It's really smooth. I love how it fart casts. Really good action. Seven five one. I really like it. I really really do. So if y'all can help me fix this squeaky sound in it, please let me know in the comments. I'd be very very grateful. Okay. Now uh, time for the cooking portion. Okay guys, so our fish has been sitting on the cooler on ice overnight, just to stiffen it up a little bit so as you can tell it's lost a little bit of its color, but it's nice and firm so the meat will come off nice and easy. Now always make sure you have a really nice sharp blade for this because you're really going to need it. And what you want to start with doing is taking your fish, starting right behind the fin, cut. There we go. Come up. Then from there what you want to do is you want to find the spine right here and you want to follow that spine all the way down. Then once you get down here past the bottom fin, shoot your plate through. Now when you get down here in the middle, you want to angle your blade at a uh, probably like a little bit of an angle for your or so. Because you're gonna hit those ribs and you don't want to get any of those rib bones in your meat. So you just slice over those. See right here? Angle it up a little bit, fill the back. Just cut it slowly. See, there's the ribs right there. This is what you don't want. You gotta go over those. Never so gently. See, now you can see those ribs real nice right there. You're gonna keep going right on top of them. Let that blade hit the top of the ribs, follow them down. That way, your meat will have no bones. There you go. There's your nice lab, struggling. Now that you got your meat, you want to remove the skin. And always start down here at the little tag end. Hold it down a little bit. Come up on the meat. That way you have something to hold on to. You just put your blade at a little bit of angle again. Pull on the meat. And walk it across. Nice and easy. Oh, beautiful. Now you're going to be saying, Eric, there's still a little bit of meat on there. Yes, there is, but it's not a whole lot. And pretty much what it is is just that bloodline right there. And you really don't want that in your meat because it'll make it taste weird. But if you want to be, you know, conservative and get every bit of meat, you can go back and just slice it right through. Bam. Just like that. Now there's your little extra meat. And there is what's left over. That is how you fillet a striped bass. Okay, now we got our two pieces of uh, striper that I'm going to cook right here. Now all we're going to do is we're going to use some New Orleans style fish fry. And then before I fry any fish, I always throw a little bit of Sweet Baby Ray's. I coat the fish with this stuff, just give it a little, a little extra spice. makes it really good to me. And then I bread them in the fish fry. Okay, so what we got right here is our two pieces of striper that we're about to cook right here. So the first thing we're going to do... So you're going to get some Sweet Baby Ray's, buffalo wing sauce, put a little bit on your plate right here, not a whole lot, just a little bit, just enough to coat these two pieces. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw them 
in this sauce right here, and then I'm gonna throw them in this breading right here. What I'm using for the breading is just some New Orleans style fish fry for seafood breading. This stuff, you can get it at any store. It's really good stuff. And I always try to get the unseasoned one. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your little filet right here, throw it right there in the sauce, let it drip off a little bit, and then you're gonna throw it immediately over here in the breading and coat both sides as best as you can. Get a little bit on there because you want this to be extra crispy. Fried fish just ain't fried fish unless it's super crispy. Make sure to get all the way around. Just like that. Right there. Then you're going to take the other piece and do the exact same thing. Just repeat. Coat it in that sweet baby raised buffalo sauce. And then throw it right over here in the breading. Push it down. Get all that breading in there. Flip, do the same thing. Hat, cover a little bit. All right, now that that's done, we're gonna wait for that oil to heat up and then we're gonna throw it in the oil pan. Big piece. Mm. It's just so good. Don't know why. It's just so good. Something about white meat. Look how white that is. Wow. It's just good. Mm -mm -mm. All right, guys. So I don't want to make y'all watch me eat and turn this into a mukbang or something, but I really hope y'all enjoyed the video. Please make sure to like and subscribe to the Dark Relaxing channel. Make sure to hit the notification bell for more awesome videos like this. Make sure to give me the Big thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below, guys. I love y'all, and I'll see y'all in the next video. So, peace.